Craig, we have a couple minutes left. Uh, tell us about a couple of your favorite features of System 7. All right. Well, the first thing I'll show is a new feature, an ability of the finder called aliasing. Uh -huh. And this allows you to make a duplicate of any icon and place that duplicate in a different place from the original file. A common use of this, of this is to make it easier to launch applications. Uh, most people's hard drives are filled with different programs, and they're all buried in different subfolders. What I've done here is alias all of the application mm -hmm. files themselves, kept place them in a file I keep on the desktop, and to get to any of my programs now, I can just click on the alias. Yeah. Now, when I link directly to the actual application. Right. That alias icon is only taking up 1K of disk space. When I run that, the Macintosh System 7 is launching the actual application. Yeah, right. Another way to use aliases is to store files in different places. I may have uh, all my letters I sent out in February in one folder, the same files sorted by the people they were sent to, and so forth. But a files aren't the only thing you can alias. You can also alias items on other hard drives. For example, when Steve showed uh, connecting to the Macintosh LC right there, he had to use the chooser and enter the username and the password right. and so forth. After I do that, I can simply create an alias of that remote volume and mount it by simply double-clicking. Mm. So I save the step right, of going right. through the chooser. Now, what about virtual memory? That's another real important fe fe feature of System 7. Right. Virtual memory uh, is one of two new memory features on System 7. And what it allows you to do is use space on your hard drive as RAM to save money uh, in terms of avoiding buying extra RAM and also it allows you to have more memory for if you just need it once in a while. I'll turn virtual memory on in this machine as well as 32-bit addressing, and I'll need to restart in order to make that take effect. And what's going to happen after uh, the Mac reboots is, in this case, there's 8 megs of memory in the CI, so it'll go up to 13. If I only had 4 megabytes of memory and I wish I had 8, that would, that would be how it would set up. All right, so what's going to happen now is pretty the Macintosh is going to restart, and it's going to follow my instructions in the memory control panel and take some hard drive space and pretend that it's RAM. Mm -hmm. So I'll have effectively 13 megabytes of RAM when I restart. The 32-bit addressing button that I clicked allows me to go past that standard 8 megabyte right. limit. Can you show us real quick what it's done? Sure. What we'll see is in the About the Finder right. dialog box, I will Right, right. I'm informed that my built-in memory is 8 megs, but I've got a total of 13 available. And with that 13, now I could launch a variety of applications and switch between them very easily using the new uh, ability to hide.